everybody. Welcome to Better Than Nothing with Mrs. Favaza. Dante and I are here. If you know me. Yep. Off my arm, please. We are here to do the calendar for today. Now, it is the first day of our school week, so we have a lot of work to do. I'm going to let you see quickly where today is, so maybe you can figure out what day of the week it is. Oh, excuse me, bud. You're right in the way. Thank you. So we have a lot of work to do because the last day we did the calendar was Friday and we've moved on one, two, three days. Dante, we're not doing the, mar the marker yet. So Friday was the third or three, which means Saturday was what number? Um, four. Four. Good, good job if you knew it too. So if Saturday was four, that means Sunday would be five. Five. And Sunday, boop, which was five, was yesterday. So yesterday was Sunday, which means today is mm, Monday. Monday. And then if yesterday was five, that means today is uh, six. Six. Good job. All right, so today is Monday, April 6th, 2020. The season is? April. Oh, the season? Spring. Is spring. Very good. And let's take a look at today's weather. Ooh, it was rainy on Friday. Let's I see. I see that blue sky. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, window's locked. Sorry, guys. Look at that beautiful blue sky. I don't even see any clouds, so it's not even partly cloudy. What do you think we should pick? Sunny. Sunny. I can do that. Okay. Oh, Sunny. perfect. Sunny. What Good job, bud. This one? I didn't. Okay, so today's weather is sunny. Now, Dante has been very excited to use the marker today. What was today's number? So you can write a six here. Six starts with a nice big C, and then you give it a little curve. Nice job, buddy. That's a great six. Okay, now, so here's good. where things get exciting. Oh, hold on. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna actually erase that so we don't get confused. So we finally get to talk about tally marks, which is really exciting for me. Buddy, you are making this sh shake so much. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. So tally marks are a way to help us count easily. Now here's what I mean by that. I'm gonna show you what six looks like in tally marks. So this is a six, this is a six. This is what six looks like in tally marks. So we have one, two, three, four, and watch this, five, six. Now tally marks are an awesome way to help you count by fives. That means that just like how your hand has five fingers or the top row of a tens frame has five, a group of tally marks with a line through it is five. So that means when you count tally marks, you don't have to count every single line. You don't have to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just go five, six, because you know that a group of tally marks, which is some tally marks with a line through it, you... Well, that's why I'm teaching you. You know that if you yeah. see, yep. So when you see the group of tally marks, the line through it, you know it's five. So again, when you count this, you do not have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. You can yes. just go five, six. It makes it way faster. So if this is six and this is six, the tens frames also have to be six. So we have one, two, three. So then we need four, five. This marker needs to be replaced and six. So again, when we count the tens frames, we can go five, six, because we know the top of a tens frame, the top row is five, and one more makes six. Watch me trace. Sure. Okay. Then you. Good 
Good job. Okay, so that's our number six, our tally mark six, and our tens frame six, because today is April 6th. So it might be a little confusing today is how many days of homeschool we've had because yeah. the number that we're doing today also has a six in it. So let's see what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. So we got some practice with the number six already, and this is what 16 looks like. A one at the front and yep. a six at If a the one end. is in the front of one other number, that means it's a teen number. It, so 16, wow. yep, thanks. 16 is a group of 10 and six extra ones. Please don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It just makes it look, it makes it so the screen's really blurry for a while. There we go. So please don't do that again. So 16 is a group of 10 and six extra ones. If the one is in the front of one other number, it's a teen number. And that even means 11 and 12. 11, 12. Okay. And, a, and 10 is a teen number. Yeah. Has one. 10. Teen. Okay. So our schedule today was calendar, planting journal. We watered our plants. They're coming along so nicely. We're going to do some workbook work, have a snack, do some art, read, lunch, and math. We are trying to figure out our new schedule. It's our first day not doing a Mo Willems video. bummed out, but we're really he, happy that he, he did that. He will, he, well, okay. you didn't print, you didn't, you didn't print the surprise out. I know, because we're going to wait until daddy goes back to work to print it. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day. It's really sunny, so I hope you get to enjoy it a little bit. If it's sitting by the window for a little while or going outside if you're able to, I hope you can enjoy it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.